I'm actually today on a full day tour. Uh, there's a chain of hostels in Israel called the Abraham Hostels and every day they run tours all over the country and they are superb. Um, so today I'm visiting here which is Masada. Uh, I'll be visiting the Engedi Nature Reserve and also I'm going to go and have a full round in the Dead Sea because you can't come to Israel without visiting the Dead Sea. And this fortress was actually the place where the Jewish people made the last stand against the Roman Empire. Um, to really appreciate this place, I'm going to have to borrow some drone footage just so you know like how high up we are and how difficult it must have been for the Romans to get up here. But you can tell just by looking here how good of a strategic position this actually was. This isolated fortress in the Judean desert is where the Jewish rebels chose mass suicide over submission to Rome. Masada was fortified in the 1st century BC and later, during King Herod's rule, was enlarged and reinforced. When Herod died, the fortress was seized by the Roman Empire but was later captured during the First Revolt of the Jews. After the Roman Empire crushed the Jewish rebels in Jerusalem, Masada remained the last Jewish stronghold it was under siege for almost two years before the walls were finally breached in around 73 AD. So this is the bathhouse and you can actually still see the original painting that they had in here. When the Romans left Masada, it is believed that the stronghold was deserted for over 200 years until Christian hermits moved in around the 5th century BC. So if you wanted to, you can actually get the cable car up and down the mountain uh, which makes it quite easy because it's quite a tough hike um, but if you know me, uh, I like to keep my destiny in my own hands and keep my feet firmly on the ground. Alright, that's enough talking for me for now. I've really got to pay attention to like where I'm stepping or else I'm going to fall off this mountain. Uh, so I think the next stop is the En Gedi Nature Reserve. Oh yes, what is going on guys and welcome to the Dead Sea uh, But unfortunately we've got here and the sea's a little bit rough So the lifeguard won't let us go in So we've come all this way to float around in the Dead Sea And we're not allowed to go in which is a bit disappointing But I might as well tell you a few facts about the Dead Sea anyway So the Dead Sea is actually 10 times more salty than seawater and that's why you're able to float. Israel owns half of it and Jordan owns half of it and if you can see it's quite misty today that where the light is over there is actually Jordan and um, the water here is always warm because of the geothermal activity underneath and it is in fact the lowest point on planet earth so I don't really know what to do now that I can't go in there's also one other thing that I forgot to mention 
uh, that the Dead Sea isn't actually a sea, it is in fact a lake. Do you know what, I can't actually deny it, I am super disappointed that I can't go in. So I'm thinking now that my only option is to go to the lowest bar on earth. So even though I am a little bit disappointed, life could be worse, right?